Hey guys, and welcome to Simply Height. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Gregory Stout 75 litre rucksack. So this thing is a beast, but as you can see, it doesn't look overly massive considering it's a 75 litre. That's due to uh, Gregory's overall design and what they've done on it. As you can see, it looks like a nice standard rucksack. You've got ripstop on the front there, so it's nice and lightweight, but it's also super, super strong. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this bottom section here. Now. But once you unclip that, in a traditional rucksack, that would norm then normally leads to the bottom part of your rucksack, which it kind of looks like it does here, but it actually doesn't. So if I just open it up, this leads you to the main section of the rucksack, which means grab and go items. It's really, really simple, really, really easy to get in and to get out of the main compartment of the rucksack. You still have your traditional top entry as well, but if you just wanted to grab something quickly, and nine times out of 10, that's always at the bottom, using this system, you can do so. So really nice and easy. It's really quick and easy to do up as well and undo. All you need to do is grab this main section on here and give it a quite a big tug. Now, it's a lot easier when there's actually gear on the inside there. But when there's, it's empty, just that first initial push is a bit tough. On the front here, you'll notice you've got your loop systems on the front here. Now, that's designed for two things. You know, you can hang additional items off there via carabiners or anything, and then obviously link in your, uh, you know, your ice axes or your walking poles. But this is also designed around Gregory's uh, solar power chargers as well. So as you can see, it's nice and wide. So the charger itself hooks onto those eyelets or hooks onto these hooks at the side there, and then covers the front part of your um, of your bag, obviously giving you solar power for all your gadgets. What you also get, if I just unclip this, there's another side pocket as well, just open them there. Nice, easy glide system, nice and wide, and that gives you space for the, basically allows you access to the whole front part of the rucksack. So let's do this up, let me unclip the top there, and then let's take a look at the other additional item that you get with the front of this rucksack. Now what you notice, traditional Gregory terms, you've got a stash pocket in there as well, so it's great for your grab and go items as well. Obviously, depending on what you put in the front section will limit how much you have on this section here, but as I say, it's just a great for your grab and go items. You've got your rain cover pocket in there as well, nice wide entry, and as I say, you've got a nice bright rain cover as well. So if, even if it's not raining, but there's a bit of low visibility, pop this over the front of your rucksack, and it means it's, you know, you'll be able to see more. You'll be seeing more clearly, should I say. And also, the rain pocket itself does double up as a secure pocket as well. And so this is a really key feature with this rucksack. You can put your keys, you can put your wallet and your mobile phone, all bits and bobs that you don't want to be seen in there. And the reason for it is, is once you've put all your gear in there, this all gets, you know, compressed and strapped up. You don't actually see the pocket. As I say, it's nice, hidden and discreet. So that's a really cool feature to have. So the top part of the rucksack opens up very much like a traditional Gregory. Nice, quick and easy, and nice and wide. We'll just roll it down. Now the main section of the bag is standard, so you know it's predominantly one big open space, but this does lead you into the stash pocket. So you can use this as two things. Firstly, as a bladder holder, so you can put your bladder in there. Obviously using this section on the top here, this clip system, hook the top part of your bladder, stops it from sagging in. And then let me just find the hole. It's a bit tight, there we go. So the hole for the bladder, or the, the hose for the bladder, will come down here, and then come out here. And then basically, because it's central, you can put it on either of the straps, you know, depending on what suits your needs. But what you can also do with this stash pocket is literally use it as a stash pocket. So if there's anything that you want to keep separate from the main section, whether it's dirty clothes or anything like that, pop it in there, pull this top compression strap, Pull it down, hey presto, it's a completely separate entity as well. So it just helps organize your pack a little bit better as well, which is a really cool thing. Let me just do this bit up and let me connect it. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about the top lid. So let me just do that. There we go, that's all clipped into place. So the top lid itself, firstly, you've got your traditional kind of hidden stash pocket on the top there. Nice wide entry and it is nice and spacious. Yet again, if you don't want to use the rain cover, it's great for your mobile phone, your keys, your wallet, bits and bobs. As I say, because once that's lapped over, no one really sees the pocket itself. You've got your front storage on there. Now, this is going to be really handy if you're doing a bit of winter walking. Ideal for your goggles or maybe your thick winter gloves. So lots of space in there to play. And obviously, you've got the ripstop material as well to protect it from all the elements. But nice wide entry and easy glide zip. You've got hook systems again on the top there, so you can attach either the solar power system from Gregory or any additional items. And then this leads you nicely onto the back part of the rucksack. 
just open it up, nice wide entry, and you've got tons of space, just like you normally get in a standard lid as well. So lots of room. This is What's also nice about this lid is that it is fully customizable. You've got these compression straps on the side here, so you can lower and you can raise the top part of the rucksack, keeping everything safe and secure. So as I said earlier, the hose for the bladder comes through the middle and you can attach it via this additional bits of material there. So that's going to hold the hose into place, which this then leads us nicely onto the chest strap. Chest strap, traditional clip system, like so. Traditional compression strap on the side there to tighten it up and to loosen it up. And then you've got your easy glide system as well. So the top half is fully customizable. Well, you'll notice the straps themselves are pre-bent, so this is gonna be more comfortable fresh out the bag, fresh out the box. The back paneling itself is also pre-bent, so it means it's gonna be comfortable at taking a heavy load. But then also as well, it's gonna help with the flexibility, the move, your overall movement on the back, as well as breathability. And then lastly, the hip straps themselves. As you can see, they are pre-curved, so fresh out of the box, they're gonna be nice and comfortable from the word go. They're gonna really hug around the top part of your hips, keeping you safe and secure, but also comfortable. You've got the traditional Gregory clip system on there. If I just put that into place, really safe, really secure, really easy and tight to do up and to undo. You've got side panels on here. As I say, you can really fully customize how the hip strap works and fits on your hip. And then you've got your traditional pockets as well. So as you can see, covered in ripstop material. So even if you're doing a bit of scrambling or climbing, it's gonna protect everything in there. You've got the kind of the reinforced material on the zip there. So really easy to grab and to glide open. And there are lots of, lots of space in there as well. And because of the wide zip, you have full access. And then just to show you briefly, you do have one on the additional pocket hip, hip belt as well. And there we have it, that's the Stout 75 from Growery. This is a great rucksack, and if you want any more information on it, just head over to our website, simplyhike.co.uk.